Yeah, we got the S on T, but which one is this? Is this the Hellcat or is it? Oh, yep, it's the Hellcat. He even he has it written on there. He's like, yeah, yeah, make sure you know that I've got a Hellcat, not one of them shitty ass 392s, them slow 392s. Oh my goodness, all this damn traffic. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. This guy's driving around in a monster. Very nice, very nice. So much print work. Me personally, I prefer it when it's just the paint and not all that extra print work. I'm not crazy about the print work. It looks good, but I'm not crazy about the print work. It's like, I don't, I don't have to scream that I'm a Hellcat. It's nice to be a Hellcat, but you know, I don't have to scream it. It's like, hey, everybody look over here. <laughs> Read this. It's like, no, that's a beautiful car, man. I always love B5 Blue. The beautiful thing is now you can get these things cheap. You can get them used. Interesting things about uh, Tesla products is that it's like the market penetration on these things is amazing because first of all these are things that you see they're very obvious look at the difference in size between this uh, Jeep Grand Cherokee and this car right here it's amazing like you see these things they're, they're very very obvious on the road and it's funny because this this car has such a high roof that it, it's, it looks almost as big as like, say that Equinox back there or that Jeep SRT, or that Jeep, and it's not a Jeep SRT, my fault. But, um, and this guy's got the dual motor, so this guy's up there trying to race, up there trying to race people. See, that's the difference. It's like, you know, driving the Tesla is silent and everything. But when you're driving in, uh, what is it called? Um, a car with an engine, you know, he's got the, oh, this guy spent some money. But the, you know, it's funny. I was trying to tell my cousin that he's looking for a car right now. And uh, I was trying to tell him, I'm like, listen, you got a family. This is what you really should be looking at. And he's fortunate, you know, he has a uh, garage so that he, he could charge it. And then he, what it is is that he drives long distances. I'm talking about every, sometimes he has to drive a distance of a hundred miles in one sitting, you know? And I'm like, you know, if you had that car right there, you could just recharge that thing while you sleep at home. And, oh, it's a black dude driving. So you can recharge that thing while you're sleeping at home. And uh, you wouldn't have to, you know, pay money for gas. And uh, I don't know what he's ultimately, I don't know what he's ultimately gonna, what he's gonna buy. But um, I was telling him, yeah, you should consider getting one of those, you know? So only time will tell. Because I know, um, you know, he, he might be thinking about it. Because that's more spacious than the Model 3. The Model Y, I, al I always said it, like, long ago. I said the Model 3 and the Model Y were going to put Tesla on the map. Like, the Model S and the Model X were good, but they were just too expensive. An $80,000 and $90,000 car, you know, you're talking about, like, a Mercedes or a freaking Audi or, or a BMW. That's just too much for the market to bear. Regular people aren't buying like eighty-five thousand dollar Jeeps like this. This SRT, nah. Regular people are looking for fifty, sixty thousand dollars and being able to save money by not having to buy gas. Two ninety-nine Trisante adjustable height sit and stand tech desk. So this desk, unlike my desk, first of all, this desk is wide, but it's not as wide as my desk. I think my desk is like in the seventy uh, inches or more. This one has a built-in uh, Wi-Fi uh, charger, a wireless charger, and then it has like three adjustable heights right there. And uh, it's got a nice drawer. This is actually a really nice desk. Only downside is it's $300, but actually that's exactly what I paid for my inland desk. I had nothing else to do, so I was just uh, at Costco. I was looking at uh, some of these uh, pieces of furniture, and I was just gonna show you what they had as far as this is four hundred dollars. This is a, just a relaxed lounger or something. Nice little couch. But I was going to show you the sectional pieces that they had. So they got this one right here, and that's eighteen hundred dollars. As it's a sectional, you know, you could change parts. I don't know what uh, Bob's price on that same one is. This right here is a three-piece recliner for a thousand, a three-seat, I should say. And then this right here is a hundred for two. And uh, they got this one right here. This is a thousand. This one right here is a thousand dollars. 
and it's white. I don't know if you want that color. And then you got this one right here, 600. And this is a sleeper sofa. Yeah, they always have they always have some decent pieces here. Like a lot of the stuff you recognize from Kyle. Oh, this is actually a nice chair. I like this. I don't know how much this is, but this looks comfortable. Yeah, and then they got this recliner. Yeah, they usually have like four hundred dollar recliners and stuff like that. Looks like they're trying to move a lot of their. It looks like they're trying to move a lot of their. Oh shit! Look at this one. This is a thousand dollars right here. They also have a lot of stuff online. Excuse me. Sorry about that. Perfect. And then this one right here is a $1,000 too. All this microfiber suede stuff. Brooklyn. Right here. Look at this Brooklyn. It's not the Brooklyn you may remember from the 80s or the 90s. Basically what you had is you got a bunch of Karens and Kevins who've gentrified the shit out of this place. So uh, basically they've uh, pushed any and all poor people out, regardless of race, color, creed, gender, religion. And uh, they've made it so that you can't afford shit down here. See, when people around the world think about New York City, this is what they think of. They think of basically Brooklyn and Manhattan because that's what they saw in the movies. So because this is what they saw in the movies, this is all they think. When they were watching the protests and the rioting and whatnot, that, a lot of that was going on right down here. You see, this right there is the Barclays Center. The Barclays Center is right over here. And uh, I have family that has property down here, i.e. brownstones. And basically what you're talking about is old, old houses that 30 years ago actually really cost less than $150,000. But now, just because of the gentrification, this is the Barclays Center, just because of the gentrification, now those $150,000 houses, most of which are in disrepair and need to be fixed, now they all appraise for 1 million, 2 million, 3 million. You, could, you wouldn't believe. Whoa, okay, yes ma'am. Yes ma'am. Yes ma'am. With just a hand, she can stop the violence. Victoria's Secret, windows broken and whatnot. See, this is the area. This is what you saw. You remember when you saw the cops run through the barricade and hit the people on the opposite side of the barricade? Well, this is what we. Were, this is what you were seeing when you saw the NYP. You see, well, not that one because that's a garbage Rav Four. I'm talking about when you have one of those NYPD uh, uh, marked Ford Explorers. When you saw them run through those barricades and run people down, whether you were white, black, whatever. Well, they figured you were all Black Lives Matter protesters, so they figured you were all equally worthless. So when they were running through those barricades and shooting people with pepper spray and putting knees in necks, that happened basically right here. In fact, some of those barricades are actually still here. Your hands up, don't shoot! Hands up, don't shoot! Who's she talking to? <laughs> hands up, don't shoot! This lady's walking around with her hands up. Why are you walking? She must be praising Jesus or something. She must have hit the lotto. Either that or the cops are chasing her. But uh, anyway, when you were watching those protests and everything, this is what you saw. See, that's the one thing about my videos. It's like I basically take you on a tour of old New York. You know, I take you on a little tour. So right now, I am headed. First, I'm going to head over to one of my relatives' houses, the Brownstone over here. Um, and then after that, I'm going to drive the Model 3. The Tesla Model 3. Now, I would stop at Dunkin' Oil. You see these people? This guy with this X3. See, I passed him a while back, so he was determined to get in front of me because I passed his silly little X3 in traffic a little while ago because this is Atlantic Avenue. Traffic is crazy. But I ain't even going to try to pass him again because I actually have to make a right turn uh, when I get a couple blocks down, when I get to my bank, Investor's Bank down here. But this guy with this silly little X3, which is about... Oh, look, yeah. Wow. Oh. Ah. Oh, no, see, I thought he was going to get side -swiped. See, I've seen that happen so many times. A lot of people are like, oh, yeah, well, people are about to leave the cities because of the violence, and de Blasio is this, and Cuomo's that, and he killed people. Well, guess what? These people don't look like they're going nowhere. They're still here. In fact, I wish y'all would leave. Go to West Virginia. I don't care. If y'all would leave, traffic would be lower for me. Look, I'm passing you again. Look at you. Look at you. Look at you. Look at your little, oh, run the light. Oh, JBC5363. 
Yeah, that's right, officers. BMW at Little 3 ran that light. You see that? That light was red, and I got it on tape. You see that? That's what you get. But anyway, uh, what was I saying? Um, so, yeah, I'm going to go down to my bank right here, and then after that, I'm going to go to Tesla. I'm going to get me one of these Model 3s. I'm going to make a nice video. You see the guy sitting in the back. You can tell that's like an Uber service, and it says TLC on his license plate. So that guy is a cab driver or probably doing tesla loop service if you're looking to make some money now and you're looking to self-employ and you need a car buying a model 3 or model y allows you if you get the license and whatnot to start your own little uber service or your own little uh, lyft service or your own little tesla loop service now, the reason why we like Tesla as our cars in order to uh, take passengers around from JF Kennedy, Newark, bring them down here to Brooklyn or bring them to Manhattan. The reason why we like that as our main car and the reason why we love the Model Y is because let's say you're doing the service and you're carrying passengers around. When your driver needs to take a break, that hour that they may spend taking a poop or eating food or whatnot, that hour can be spent recharging the car. And in that hour, they gain maybe 200 to 250, possibly even 300 full miles, depending upon the voltage and whatnot and the wattage of the supercharger. But they can take a break and charge the car and then get right back to work. And the longer their break is, the more energy they regain. What is this? Oh, see, all these people are sick. This is, this is where your numbers are coming from. But um, what was I saying? Okay, so that's the reason why Tesla works so well for doing car services. The problem is the insurance is higher because regular, like if I had a stupid Toyota Camry or Avalon or something, insurance is cheap on those cars because they suck. But the Tesla's the insurance has to come down a little bit more to make it more economical. So this right here is my bank. That's Investors Bank. It's a great bank if you want to invest. So let's find a park, and uh, then we're going to get to and Tesla. you're like, oh, my God, the traffic there. I'd never want to live in New York City. I'd never. This is Brooklyn, right across this uh, Red Hook, right across this. Hey, that guy ran the light. JJG3824. Guy ran the light in, a, in, in some silly little silver ugly car. But anyway, this is uh, the Red Hook area, Brooklyn. We've got uh, Park Slope somewhere around here. Basically, got a bunch of liberals. And uh, those are those same people that you saw protesting and whatnot. So across from the water, you've got uh, Manhattan over there, Lower Manhattan. And uh, yeah, I know a lot of people, like, first of all, if you live in any of these buildings, like most of you, you've got these gigantic, beautiful properties in your state. And you're like, oh my God, I'd never pay a million dollars to live in one of these buildings and whatnot. And um, I can't blame you. That's the reason why I took my show to Long Island because I have a big yard, a front yard, big backyard. I've got a uh, parking where I can park. Uh oh, the cops. I put my hand down so you don't see the cops. So the cops don't see it. Because I don't want no knees. Uh oh, well, those are black cops, so they're not going to put their knee in my neck. Thank God. So, anyway, um, what was I saying? Yeah, so I've got a front yard, I got backyard, I can put like five or six cars in my driveway. Nobody can park in front of my driveway. Here, every place is just cars and it's cramped and it's not beautiful. Look at this, look at this. Turn he's right onto DeGraw Model Street. Y, and his Model Y, he's got, the, he's got to fight to find a park. Look at more cops, more cops. Uh oh. Oh, snap. I think they're taking somebody out from the Rona. Uh oh. Park Slope Ambulance. These people got their own private ambulances and everything. Yeah, so I tell you, this place is so cramped. And it's so cramped. It's like everywhere you go, it's nothing but cramped. Look at this. This is this passes for a Chinese market right here. Look at this. And I, I know everybody, you look at my videos, you're like, oh my God, New York City looks disgusting. It's like it's so small and cramped. I wouldn't want to move there. I can't blame you. I absolutely cannot blame you. I can't blame you. Especially, like, I've got relatives who bought houses, these gigantic, beautiful houses in Pennsylvania, and their houses cost half what mine cost. I'm like, Jesus Christ, why did... The problem is, I don't feel like driving 100 miles back from Pennsylvania to New York. I don't feel like doing it. We need, like, mass rapid transit. No, don't blow at me, you idiot. Don't you see all this cramped... Look, don't you see all these cramped people? Don't you see them? Like, in a quarter mile, turn right onto Bone Street. Yeah, don't blow at me. You and your Honda Accord. Don't blow at me. 
Don't you see all this crampedness? This is cramped. And it's not beautiful and it's not delicious. It's cramped. Not happy. Not happy with this. Not at all. These people have nothing to do except join protests and riots because there's nothing to do because it's just cramped. Everything's just cramped. Boring. I don't like this. Right here we got, you know, we got some people. These are Brooklynites walking around in this cramped environment. I don't know. See, y'all can have this. I don't want none of the, I don't care if the properties over here are $30 million a building. I don't care. I don't want nothing to do with this. If I could, I'd probably move out to Arizona or something and I'd build a helipad in my backyard and I'd have a helicopter and I'd have my truck and I'd just fly like, and that'd be all I would do. I wouldn't do anything else. I'd go flying and I'd have a great time and I'd live in a nice ranch style house, but I'm stuck here right now in New York where it's cramped. This is so cramped. Now, right away, you can see the difference between being in Long Island and Brooklyn or Manhattan. You can see the difference in my videos. This is their uh, Brooklyn service center. And this is where you bring your car just in case you need service. Now, this is probably that white one is probably the one I'm driving because I asked for performance so I could show you the performance. But uh, they told me... So he tells me to back out. Okay, so I'm gonna back out. Just back out. Okay, because there's no parking around here. Hi. All right, what's up? Where do you want me to park? Uh, he told me. To, he told me to pull in. No, we don't have. We can't park any gas cars in here. I'm sorry. You, oh, you can't park any gas, no cars. gas cars. Okay, here. okay. Where do you want me to park then? Are you here for delivery? No, I'm here to drive. Probably that one right there. For a test drive. Yeah. Oh, uh, you have to find parking around here. Oh, well, I was just, okay. Yeah, I'll, oh, yeah. uh... If you will park somewhere, just leave it there, park. Okay. Um, but yeah, no gas. I'm sorry about that. All right, no, don't even worry about it. Okay. All right. Just let him know. I'll let him know. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, well, we don't accept gas cars. We don't accept gas cars. You're, you've got, you're driving around in fossil fuel dinosaurs. What's wrong with you? You're supposed to have electric by now people are so ancient we don't do gas cars anyway oh my god look at these potholes jesus christ that's a pot my god that's a pothole you better tell this biker to watch out for that pothole damn all right let's see maybe can i park here can i can i get in there can i get in there i think i could do it i think i can pull it let's see if I could park in there, this is ridiculous. But see, this is, again, the Walt Whitman Mall area in Long Island. Oh, these freaking bicyclists, these Karens and Kevins everywhere. So anyway, um, if you're out in Long Island, you don't need so, oh, you don't need to worry so much about parking and all this. Like I gotta park next to a goddamn dumpster. So anyway, um, Shit, I gotta park in between. But see, this is why, this is why, like, when I retire, I'm out of New York, you know? I'll keep my property so that I can rent my properties to people, but I will most likely be out of here. Look at this, look at this. I got a dumpster, and then I got a, what is this? One of these old Nissan or whatever condo boxes. In fact, I don't even want to park here. That's the thing, I don't want to park here. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go right back where I was before because I do not want to park like that. I don't want to park like that. Let me go back. Oh, snap, there's a truck. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drive forward. Let's see if I can find it. This is ridiculous. See, this is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. You gotta find a park. You gotta find a park. This is ridiculous. So, um, yeah, I mean, and you see all these buildings? You probably are looking at these places and you're like, yeah, yeah, well, that's the ghetto. Well, guess what? Every single one of these buildings that looks like crud, all of them appraised for over $500,000. Many of them multiple millions of dollars, believe it or not. The, the worst looking places, I guarantee you, you could do a Zillow in this uh, neighborhood right here. You could do a Zillow and you can look all of these places appraise well over $500,000 thousand dollars believe it or not 
believe it or not it's true new york property is mad now look at this imagine you're a jogger imagine you're a little snowflake jogger and you got to run around this 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 trash this 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 crud area you got this industrialized area over here it's like nobody wants to live like that what does that say tuesday friday midnight to three no i think i can i think i can move up a little further because the park where i was is basically a truck unloading loading zone so yeah, look at this. If you like a snowflake and you want to, you don't want to run around this nonsense. You don't want to jog here. If you're jogging here, man, you know, they could not find your body for weeks. It's like, you don't want to live here. So me personally, I'm going to do what I can do. And I'm going to retire the hell out of here. But then again, I've never lived really in Brooklyn. I haven't lived in Brooklyn since I was like maybe 16. And then I, you know, and then I was like, nah, I'm out of here, man. I need greener pastures. This is nonsense. This guy made me move. Car, he says no gas cars allowed. Ridiculous. But anyway, well, at least it's not too hot today. Did I get my keys? Oh, wait, let me just go. But uh, yeah, that's what this is. That's exactly what this is. Like, holy, you know, nobody's gonna bother right here. I got plenty of space. This ain't gonna take but too long because I'm just gonna do the Model 3 just to show you about the Model 3. This is the P90D right here. Probably ludicrous mode. Everybody who had the P90D, they probably upgraded. But yeah, Model Y right here. I already gave you the video on the Model Y. Mom liked it. Nice white interior. I like the white interiors. My thing is, will this thing stay clean? You know, will this stay clean snowflake right here? It's like, you can't be walking around this place. This place doesn't feel safe to me. They haven't gentrified this place enough for me to feel safe. All right, let's get this show on the road. We're gonna be test driving this bad boy. This bad boy. White Model 3. Let's turn down. Oh my God, it's so cold in here. Oh my God, it's so cold. Let's turn this thing down just a little. Oh my God, you can... It's like a, a helicopter in here, it's so cold. Oh my God. No, you know what, in fact, I'll leave it on. I'll leave it on. Okay, so, oh, I think I'm, I'm this right here. Am I good? 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 Yeah, so this is the white leather interior. And I'm stepping on the brake. And I think, I don't know why it's not disengaging thing's not disengaging. I don't know why. Let me, let me see what. There must be a reason. I'm supposed to put this here. It's unlocked, but it didn't disengage. Let's see, why isn't it disengaging? Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Nope, it's not moving. All right, let's figure this out. I don't know why, but it didn't disengage. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. This is supposedly, I think this is the card. Maybe this isn't the card. You know what? I think that's what it is. Hold on just a minute. Model X and the Model S did not do this to me. You have to put the key back here behind the cup holder in order to unlock the system. And I had never had that issue with the S or the X. And I don't even think I had that problem with the Y. But what happened was I put it here, or if you put it here, and then it uh, re-engaged the lock. And I thought that was kind of weird. So, okay, anyway, let's go. So right now we've got the vegan white interior with the big moon roof. And you've got the, uh, what is this? Um, Model 3 Performance. All right, so let's go out of here. Let's get out of here. Woo, oh my God. Oh, watch out, Snowflake, watch out, Snowflake. I'm sorry, Karen, my bad. I did not mean to scare you. I did not mean to scare you, Karen. You know we friends. I can be friends with any Karen as long as she appreciates SRT products. Because if you're one of those Karens who are gonna start a problem with me about like having a Honda product or something, it's like, I'm afraid I'm just gonna have to tell you off. So far, so good. Okay, I'm not gonna be shooting down too many of these damn blocks because these blocks are tight. But they, whoa, Jesus Christ. I didn't even put my foot all the way down. These Model 3s are bullets, boy. Oh my God, look at this guy right here at the 70s show haircut. Good job. Look at these people. Now they don't even understand. There's so much talk and power in this little Model 3. I could just blow through them. 
I can blow through them like a like a light bulb. It's crazy. And uh, as you know, we've got. Do we have autopilot? Yeah, uh, autopilot is a double tap right here. One, two. Oh, this one doesn't have auto driving, I think. Nope, okay. So this one doesn't have the auto drive. If you want auto drive pilot, then you're gonna have to pay an extra $8,000. It's a lot of money. But if you're a person who does those long road trips, um, autopilot comes in handy. And from what I heard, they were planning on making it so that you can uh, uh, pay to play with autopilot. So like, if you're not gonna be using it all the time, you can activate it, you can use it when you wanna use it, and then you can deactivate it when you're not using it. From what I heard, that's what I heard they were planning on doing. All right, so Brooklyn Borough Hall, let's go this way. Let's go this way. How, how quick can I get to that light? How quick can I get to that light? What's this? What's this? All right, what is this? What is this? Whoa! Jesus! Jesus! Jesus, help us. Whoa, Jesus Christ, this thing is fast. God damn it. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. You know I love SRT. You've seen me buy a damn brand new Jeep for freaking $85,000. You've seen me buy the Hellcat for what was that what was that seventy six thousand dollars but let me tell you something these things are cheaper and these things are goddamn faster and if i say it you know it's true these things are freaking missiles incredible absolutely incredible the, the lisping it just comes so naturally to me because of how fast these things are in freaking incredible i'm just so happy that tesla's american and it's an american company i'm so happy all the money that i made short in that stock let me tell you something these things are missiles that's what these things are look at this look where i am and i took my foot completely off and the thing just dead stops because it has the one pedal braking but see and it's funny because people see model threes and model s's all the time but if you've never driven one of these cars you wouldn't understand just how fast and powerful and these things i have to say these are these interiors in my opinion are amateurish until you get me some heated cooled massage seats now i'm throwing in the word massage but i think you should have heated cooled and massage seats but the massage you could charge more for and i can wait for that but heated and cooled in this car, look how luxurious and how spacious it is. Look at these damn things. These things are crazy, crazy. Absolutely freaking crazy, man. I mean, as a second car, I have to have an all-wheel drive car. So the Jeep stays, you know? I have to always have something all-wheel drive. Either you can have an F-150, a truck, or you could have, look at this traffic, this is ridiculous. This is so ridiculous. I can't even, when I was out in Long Island, I could take you on long drives in the Route 110, the Southern State Parkway, look at this. This is this is the hell that we live through. You got a light and you can't get to it, you know? It's like if people are in hell and there's a window that shows them a beautiful heaven, but they can't get to it because they stuck in hell. That's what this traffic is, it's ridiculous. So, as I was saying, um these model threes man everybody i see more and more of these damn things on the road and those model y's are going to absolutely kill it but one thing i have to say the model three and the model s accelerate in my opinion in a way the feeling of acceleration in the cars is better than the feeling of the acceleration in the crossovers the suv i don't know what the cyber truck is going to feel like and the reason why i want to do this video is because this is probably the last video i'm going to do for a tesla car celebrating my sale of the stock you know this is probably the last video i'm going to do up until the cyber truck comes available but let me tell you something these damn things are crazy and the the interiors are amateurish i mean you know they i, I mean the the, the 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 interior materials could be better a lot better but I have to say, these things are, they're missiles. It's like buying a damn missile. But look at all this goddamn traffic. How do people live like this? How do people live like this? I, I, I'm out in Long Island. I haven't had to deal with this traffic, especially because of coronavirus. How do people live like this? It's like if you live in Brooklyn and you're 
showing off and happy because you're a snob and you got some kind of $3,000 a month basement apartment. You know, good for you, but I, 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 how do people live like this? Look at, look at this madness. Look at this. This is horrible. This is absolutely horrible. This, I mean, no wonder why the crime's going up. I'd, I'd go crazy. Okay, come on, Super. Come on, man. You, come on, let's go. I got the Tesla. Let's go. Jesus Christ, look at this traffic. My God. How do people live like this? I don't have to live like this. My life means something. This is madness. It's absolute madness. There's a crane up there, too. Oh, my God. How do people live like this? Hmm. The navigation menus show you the arrows, which shows you the direction on the street. And it also, basically, they copied Apple. I guess that's why a lot of people were running that nonsense. It's like, oh, yeah, Apple's going to buy Tesla. It's like, Apple ain't going to be no damn car company. Apple is worth a trillion dollars, and they have way less uh, liability just making phones. They would never buy a car company. And they probably could use a tech demonstrator car, but there's no reason for that either. You know what? Let me see if I can. Let me see. Let me let me see if I can get past this guy right here. Cause this is crazy. This is crazy. I don't want to live like this. I'm, I'm I'm too beautiful to live like this in my luxurious Tesla Model Three. This is crazy. I don't want to live like this. And you people, you snobs. Oh yeah. Well, my basement apartment is three thousand dollars. It's like I don't care. Like, I, I don't want to live like this. This is like, I hate Brooklyn. <laughs> I hate Brooklyn. I don't want to live like this. I don't care if these proper, look at these brownstones. See these places? You got all these people fighting to get up in here. Oh, yeah, well, my new brownstone is $5 million. It's like, I don't care. I don't, I don't care. Take it. The only people still arguing and, and complaining are people who got pushed out because of the gentrification. But my thing is, it's like, yo, you can take this. I don't give a damn. I don't care. I don't care if you gentrify this place and make this place look like the Jetsons. I don't care. I don't want to live like this. I can't. This is horrible. I don't want to live here. Oh, this is one way. That's the reason why they wanted me to go the other way. But I can always, I, I go up one block and then over one block. This is, this is insane. This is insane. How do, how do you live like this? Look at this guy. How, how, I don't want to live like this. I'm beautiful. I don't deserve this. Oh my God. I got to go back to go forward? Shit. I want to go that way. I can't, I can't do it. This is madness. This is freaking madness. I don't want to live like this. So anyway, yeah, about the car. So anyway, yeah, you get, you know, whatever, pretty much whatever the mileage is. Now, and I got to say, the air conditioners and these things are incredible. But, um... Um, the mileage will vary if you're using the AC. If you're not using the AC and you drive around with the window, geez, is he gonna let me pass him? You gonna let me pass him? Yes, sir. Watch this, watch this. Whoa! Jesus Christ! What? I wanna go that way though. What are you talking about? This, this is stupid. I wanna go that way. What are you doing to me? This is insane. These freaking, oh my God. What is, what is this? All this traffic. What is this, people? Oh my God. This is disgusting. All these socialites. Oh yeah, well, we live in Brooklyn. We live in Park Slope. We've got such a beautiful, yeah, yeah. Well, you, you, you keep living right there in your little coronavirus basket. And I will take my business to greener pastures because I don't deserve to live like this. This is disgusting. Look at these places. They're, they're attached houses. If one of the houses burns down, they all burn down. It's like, I don't want to live like that. Uh-uh. I want space. Look at this. Look at this right here. What you got to say? Yeah, I, I need space, yo. Come on. <laughs> see, this is, this, see, this is, this is where the Karens are. It's really... These liberal Karens, and if they see me try to park the Tesla, they'd be like, excuse me, who are you? You can't park here because my porgy needs the space in order to eat his food. And I'm like, it's like, don't start with me. Please don't start with me. 
because we come from Long Island, we got concealed carry permits. It's like, don't start with me. Please just don't do it. Now, you know what would be cool? If you modify your Tesla, you could put speakers right here if you wanted to. That's how the Mercedes S-Class does it. They got the speaker box like right there. So you have like a little, not a subwoofer, but you got tweeters right here. That would be cool. But right now you just got some lights. You know, but uh, that's the thing, man. This is just, this is noise. But I have to say, this car is too small. It's, uh, you know, for a daily driver for like one or two people. Yeah, this is fabulous. But uh, this car is like, it's like you're going to want more space. You're definitely going to want more space than this. And if you want more space than this, where are we? Yeah, that's Hoyt and Bond. Okay, I'll, I'll turn left on Bond. That's where my investor's bank is. But uh, yeah, it's like these, this, this car is not, this car I knew it was going to do well because it's so fabulous. But it's the why, that why, man. If you are Subaru, if you are Acura, if you're anybody else, that why is gonna kill your sales. And I'll be, I'm gonna be very happy. What is this fit doing? What are you doing? Come on. Oh no, oh my God. Yeah, come on, Kevin. Jesus Christ, this guy. So anyway, um, the Model Y is gonna do real well. And that's one of the reasons why you see so many people buy the Dodge Charger. We're New Yorkers. We want a four-door car or a crossover or an SUV. We don't, we're not too crazy about two-door coupes. So the uh, Challenger sells well out in Long Island, but it doesn't really sell too well in New York. When we pull over to the curb, we want you to be able to get out on your own accord behind us. And, and that's that. It's like, it's like we, we need our space. You know, we want four door, we want four door sedans, you know, you know, you know, we don't want to be cramped. We don't want to be cramped. Okay. But I have to, I have to say, man, these things, man, this thing is so goddamn fast. It's ridiculous. This is like buying a Hellcat. It's just that there's no sound. You can't work on it. You can't modify it, which I don't have a problem with because I don't modify cars. But this is just, just mad. This is incredible. It's incredible. Like the mere fact that in a very short period of time, I can be doing like 85 miles an hour down the street. Amazing. That's so quiet. I have, <laughs> these things are so fun. I, I just love it. It's so fun. It's so much fun. So much fun. It's, these are fabulous. You know, I, I'm jealous of a lot of kids because this a, a Model 3 or Model Y is going to be their first car. You know, they're not going to have some used garbage BMW. They're not going to have some crappy Mercedes C-Class, like, used, because usually that's what their first car is. This is going to be their first car, and they're going to be driving around in freaking missiles. You know? It's like my first car was a V6 Chrysler 300. You know, I had less than 300 horsepower, and now these, these, this new generation, they're going to have freaking electric cars as standard. Like I, that's whoa, jeez! Can I make that? Can I make it? Can I make it? Yeah, boy! That's just bank. Here's my bank again. How about that? Here's my bank. Oh, a Nissan Leaf. You know, Demonology loved his Leaf, but I know Demonology prefers his wife's Tesla. I know he prefers his wife's Tesla. That Nissan Leaf is boring. That's the thing. Just more and more traffic. Look at this nonsense right here. Look at this. It's nothing but traffic, traffic, traffic. And th this thing sees people. You see that? So the thing sees people, and it also spots construction cones. How about that? So the software, as they continue to update it, sees all of this stuff. Like it sees uh, Jose right here with the cones. Ain't that cool? All right, so that's good. That's really good. So yeah, so basically, you know, I had to round out my, you know, there was four vehicles, so I had to round it out, round out my uh, testing and showing you what all four look like. And that's the Model 3, man. And the funny thing about it is, forget the performance mode, the regular mode is fast enough because it's definitely faster than these boring four cylinders. Even that Alfa Romeo, uh, uh, the uh, Stelvio right there, even a regular Model Y or regular Model 3 is faster than those cars off the light. Now, you may not have the high horsepower, but the thing about it is these things have so much torque until it doesn't even matter. You could probably beat those things in a quarter mile race. 
and of course because of the fact that um you know the speed limits are like 20 25 you know but as fast as this car is this car's faster than the ferrari is faster than like the base lamborghinis like the huracan nobody pays any attention to it nobody looks at it anymore because they see them everywhere like they see these cars just about everywhere you know so the thing about it is it's a really fast car it's more luxurious than the base models of most luxury cars but the problem is it's ubiquitous so this is something that you see so much you see it regularly you know and because you see them regularly nobody cares <laughs> you know so you could have the fastest tesla in the world nobody would even notice and now with those badges on the back that just say dual motor well, if it says dual motor and it doesn't say 100D, if it doesn't say 90D, if it doesn't say 70D, nobody knows exactly what you're driving. So really, the only thing that lets you know whether one of these cars is the fast one or not is the color of your brakes. So that's why what most people do is they buy these things, even if they buy a base version, they take them to the, uh, what is it called, the uh, mechanic, and then they'll have their brakes painted. And if they have their brakes painted, then, uh, you know, then that's it, you know? And see, as you can see, these speed limits, all these damn speed limits are 25 miles per hour, which means that this, this car is capable of going zero to illegal in like, what, two seconds, three seconds. So you, and I'll tell you, like me personally, you know me, I've been driving fast cars all my life i've been driving fast cars and at this point it's like for the economical benefit because now you get older and it's like oh shit i gotta have a family and all that i don't want no goddamn minivan the model y is a really good family car and it's because it has so much space in the back if you have a stroller or two strollers you can fit that in there and um you know you don't need you can have your race car but you also have an economical family car that's not so dangerous that your wife can't drive it. Because, you know, a lot of these cars, you don't want your wife driving these cars. I mean, God forbid she scratches up the rims on your Demon or, or damages the, 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 the GTR or whatever. You don't want your wife driving these cars, you know? But with this car right here, it's like it just goes as fast as, you know, she goes, you know? She can make it go fast, she doesn't have to. But you don't have to worry about ridiculous bills and stuff like that, you know? This car, I have to say, man, Tesla is making me so, this is making America great. This right here is making America great again. It really is. Let me see if one of these turkeys will let me in. Let me see if one of these turkey turkeys will let me in. Look at this guy, this guy's all over there. See, it's not my fault that there's so much traffic, you know, it's not my fault. It's not my fault. And I really like the uh, uh, animations and everything. I really do. I really, really, really do. You know, so there's not much more to be said about these things. I mean, they're fast, they're powerful, they're fun to drive, and extremely economical. Like, this is what the future is coming down to, because Europe already said, they said 2040, all the cars are going to be electric. They're getting rid of diesel, no more diesel. They're getting rid of uh, gas, but gas was really, really expensive. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. Thank you. Bing, 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 bing. You know, but man, I tell you, these cars are incredible. For the price, for what they can do, these things are absolutely incredible. Look at these people waiting for that. Uh, I don't know what they're waiting for. I think they're waiting for Trader Joe's. But man, let me tell you something. These things are awesome. I am so amazed. Yep. It's like this car is comfortable enough to even make the hell of having to sit through Brooklyn traffic bearable. You know? Atlantic Avenue, man. This is where it all happens. These damn liberals trying to get a piece of this. <laughs> so anyway, this is where it all happens right here. Yeah, yeah. You get that one foot driving, which helps alleviate uh, your brake wear 
it's basically it's called hold mode like you see hold mode if i wanted to change that and i want to make it so that instead of holding it because right now it's in stopping mode hold and that i could change it to creep or roll but i'll leave it in hold because when i if it's in hold it has that one pedal driving that some people like to talk about the one pedal driving and here's the charge thing it says i have a 211 miles 211 miles worth of driving and whatnot so i can you know go for another what 211 miles let's turn the ac up let's make it nice and cool and then i can put it on my face put it down here so i got it all over my body i feel my feet get cold down there look at my feet get cold look at that that is so freaking cool all right let me get out of this lane, get out of this lane. sorry Okay, come on, Subaru. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I'm not in a rush. I'm not in a rush. I'm not in a rush. Yeah, but uh, that's the thing. And my thing is, I, I never like buying anything in the first generation. I, I, I always think it would be better to wait till the second generation, so this way they work out all the bugs and kinks and whatnot. But to tell you the truth, these things have been designed on an order where right now there's really not a lot of bugs and kinks. They're actually very, very functional as is. Come on, you, well, you, you fought to get in front of me, so you might as well just do it. What are you doing, bro? Jesus, these people. Yeah, I know, don't hit the Subaru Impreza. I know, thank you, I know. Yeah, but I tell you, if Tesla would build one of these cars and make it an S-Class competitor, that would be amazing. And they could actually justify charging $100,000 for that. Yeah, I'm really sorry I'm stuck here. Yeah, I'm really sorry I'm stuck here. What are you doing? What are you talking about? So the thing shows you front. And see, that's one of the beautiful things about having an autopilot because you get all the senses. My Jeep has the front senses and you get the rear senses and everything. And um, I love having that because when you have to deal with traffic on this magnitude, and you have to deal with parking in such traffic, it really helps you to have all the senses all the way around the car, 360 degrees. So when you have 360 degree senses, it makes it so that these morons with these Subaru Impreza's that seem to be buzzing me, because as you see, this guy jumped in front of me, I let him go, he's still doing it. It's like, I think he's angry that I'm rolling around the Performance Model 3 and his fart can Impreza can't possibly match me in acceleration. Just can't possibly. So if I was him, I'd be jealous too. I could. I totally understand. I totally understand. So look at this. You see how far he is? You see how far away this turkey is? Look at this. 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 Zero. Look at that. Whoa! Oh my God! Thirty seconds and like thirty miles per hour, like one second. I mean, that's crazy. That is freaking crazy. I just love these things. These things are so much fun. So again. I like, you know, people complain. They say, oh, they, oh big truck, you, you complain about everything. You hate everything. I don't hate everything. I don't. I just like to complain where I have to. This car needs heat and cooled seats as standard. All of the Teslas need heat and cooled seats as standard. And um, other than that, um, I don't really, I can't really complain about anything else. It's like heat and cooled seats and it got every damn other thing I could possibly think of. So... You know, just give me those cooled seats. So this way, because right now, it's like they, you know, when you say I want heat and cooled seats, what they say, oh, well, just turn the air conditioner up. And when you get in the car, it'll be cold. It's like, no, I'm driving around for a long time. So my back starts to get warm. I want ventilated, active, cooled seats so that this way my back don't get warm. Don't tell me what I don't need. I need them heated, cooled seats. You know, just for the front passengers. I'm not talking about for the back. Just for the front. This is a badass, cute car. It's a cool, it's such a cool car, but nobody looks at it. Nobody cares. When people, when you have like a Mercedes GT and people see that, people are like, oh, wow, look at that. That thing's a Mercedes GT. That's $150,000. Here in New York, if you have an S-Class, nobody cares. If you have a CLS, nobody cares. 
if you have just a you know, Honda Accord and everything, no, absolutely nobody cares. But um, that's the reason why. And I think that has a lot to do with the reason why people keep tuning their exhausts. People want to be noticed when they're driving their cars. And the problem is their cars are boring and nobody notices them. And they want to be noticed. It's, it's like Darwinism where you have to uh, survive by being fittest. But you have to be like the peacock. You got to flash your feathers and show everybody, hey, guess what? I'm a peacock and I'm right here. And the thing about it is if you don't have those bright, colorful plumes of feathers, nobody even notices you there. Nobody cares. Look at this cop. Look at this cop. I'm put my hand down. Damn. Yeah. Sheriff. Holy crap. You know, those are the guys, man. When they put their knee in your neck, it really hurts. <laughs> so I don't want that. Let me just put my hand down just a little bit and let him go on about his business. But this one pedal driving, yeah, I could get used to this, man. I could get used to this. I definitely could get used to this. This is like so much excitement. I, I would go so far as to say that these cars really aren't even boring. They're not. Like, some people might say, oh, that's boring because I can't hear it. I can't hear the engine. Oh, look at this guy. This guy's letting us go through. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. This actually works a lot better when you have a stoplight. This is a Hyundai Genesis. I'm a previous leasee of the Genesis. I really liked the Genesis. I really did. But I tell you, if I was buying a car right now, I might get a used Model S. If I was buying another car right now, I think I could do a used Model S. Why not? Okay. Whoa, goddamn. See, these, these things are so freaking fast. They can get away from you. Like you, you know, like some people would be afraid of driving a supercharged car because they'd be like, nah, if that, if, you know, if you're not careful, that thing can get away from you. Let me tell you something. This car can get away from you. This car can get away from. Look at that. They got the height. Look at that. The sheriff sitting right there, right there, looking for people speed. This car right here can get away from you, and it can get away from you in ways that you can't imagine. These things are fat. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Tesla mobile service. Oh, okay. Yeah, these, these things are freaking fast to the point where, yes, they can get away from you. Yes, they can. These things are missiles. Look at, look at this. 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 Zero. Jesus Christ. Damn, these things are cool. And they're not expensive. That's what's so amazing. Like, don't think for a second that I'm a paid advertiser. Let me tell you something. They're not paying me a dime. The only money I make is from YouTube for my videos. But uh, Tesla's not paying me anything. I'm hyping. Oh, this, this guy's got the Model Y out. Yeah, I'm hyping this because it's just that exciting. It's so much fun. It's like when I see something that's fun and exciting, I let you know. And I'm like, yeah, you should go get yourself one. And I know you'll love it. It's delicious, it's exciting, and it's just so much fun. And when I speak positively about something, it must be awesome. Because a lot of times I'd let you have it. I'd be like, yeah, your product sucks, and it's boring, and it's stupid, and it sucks, and it's boring. It's like, that's me normally. But with this product, you know, and here's the Jeep SRT. Don't mess with the Jeep SRT. You better not touch my Jeep SRT. Because that is a good product that's exciting and delicious and fun and exciting. These are the model ones. It's the X's. No, that's the, these are Y's. Look how big those things are. They're not. Look how look how gigantic. I'm I'm down here on the floor. Look how gigantic that thing is. That thing is huge. It's huge. And this is the model three right here. And here we are delivering the car in one piece right back to the. Tesla dealership, you know? How about that? There's that Model X, I already made a video on the Model X, so if you wanna see my video on the Model X, I got a video on the Model X, okay? Okay, so I'm gonna jump up and grab my mask. Yeah, yeah, that's that, that's that, that's that. That vegan white leather. Oh, my God, look at that. 
Oh, let's get out of here. Oh, let's slide out. Okay, because I don't feel like I don't feel like readjusting the goddamn steering wheel because you don't have buttons for the steering wheel like you have on the Model X and the Model Y or the Model S and the Model Y. I don't feel like readjusting the steering wheel. Okay, let me... No one cared who I was before I put on the mask. Let's just do that. Got mask on. So the, the car stays on when it needs to be on. Monitoring the battery and whatnot. And you got that gigantic trunk. When I showed this to my uh, aunt, she was like, oh, wow, that's a big trunk. But the Model Y is the one you want, man. The Model 3 is great if you want a compact car or a small car. But I got to say, that Model Y and that Model S, this guy right here, he's got the Model X. He's looking at me because he's cool, you know? Yeah. So that's the one thing you hear from these cars, the air conditioner. It's hot. It's like almost 100 degrees.